happening, Nigerians are being warned. APC, PDP, different names, but the same devilish philosophy. I mean, Pastor Sarah, Aisha, um, Yusuf, others are warning Nigerians. Be careful. Okay, for me, I'll put it, put it a bit there. Nigerians, please don't become gullible. Go out there during election and put your life out for any politician. I must assure you, none of them worth it. Just take it from me. They don't deserve it. None of them, as a matter of fact, deserve it. I won't lie to you. They don't deserve it. The politician you are going to fight for, where are his children? How come? Because when they have estates and dynasties, they leave it for their children. They don't call you to come and, in fact, they don't call you to come and share in their family glory and treasure. They leave you to, to fend for yourself. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. T critics of President Muhammadu Buhari's government, Aisha Yusuf and others, have accused Nigerian politicians of taking the country to the bleak with their misgovernance. The human rights activists, especially Aisha Yusuf, who advised Nigerians to focus on their shared problems on the interest of the country, says the All Progressive Congress APC and the People Democratic Party PDP in a statement on Monday made Nigerians aware that they are the same people. It is the same party with different name. They have the same ideas, the same philosophy, and there's nothing new either of them can produce or prefer to Nigerians. Nigerians must become aware. Nigerians must work at it to ensure this very time that we have, we vote them out of power. She said the onslaughter on the candidacy of Peter Obi of the Labour Party by the members of the dominant party we are meant to de destabilize him and ensure that Nigerians' attention are removed from the important thing. As at today, the candidate presented before us, he is one of the best. She therefore urged Nigerians to take advantage of the ongoing registration voters registration for the voters card to secure their PVCs and fight against enemies of the country by ensuring they deliver on this mandate of voting in the right person. She said it's about time for Nigerians to begin to look inwardly and make a decision. APC and PDP are different names, but they are totally united in the same devilish philosophy. They are attacking the supporters of Peter Obi in order to derail Nigerians from taking decisive step. That's why they are not fighting themselves. They are similar in all ways, but putting the fight on Peter will be looking for every way to condemn him. When they say you should not waste your vote, it's deceitful. It's a deceitful advice. You should not waste your life by allowing them to be voted in again. Don't waste your vote on them, please. Allow life to be wa don't allow life to be wasted again for the generations yet unborn. Every Nigerian must be ready to take back our nation and our lives. Take charge, Nigerians. It is your right to vote wisely. Get your PVCs. These leaders don't care about you. They don't care. Don't be deceived. I mean, what she said, okay, and many Nigerians, what is what they are saying is the truth. Okay, let's not even let's not even try to you know quote the matter and make it look like oh she didn't say anything important. What she said, listen, guys, is the truth. APC PDP are at the same sides of a coin. Okay, it's the same sides of a coin. The left is the same people. So when you think that you are having two different set of people with two different ideas excuse me you're making a huge mistake it's the same people the same i mean look at everybody in apc have they not been in pdp or i mean they're coming from the four party that merged or i mean it's the same thing okay but it, guess what they are all fighting peter obi yeah peter obi is the new target they said nigerians should not waste their votes and vote for peter obi they'll be wasting that vote what does that mean are they scared of something? Is there something they are worried about that we should know? Okay, so Nigerians, why are they asking us, instructing us particularly? 
because Peter will be is that third force. I know the thing with if you know the whole um uh, you know dark horse um or analogy is something you least thought about, you least dreamt about. In fact, you underrated it, you undermined it, you 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 looked down upon it, you you took it and say oh, I mean can't stand. I mean this one does not hold a chance. This one can can possibly you know have anything you know, say the one where you look through where I now your neighbor to better pass you. You understand now? Now so it just be. The one you look through where I say, ah, no, 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 it can't be, can't be, it can't be. It go just up, it go shock you. It go shock you, my people. I say the matter go shock you. You know, so these are possibilities and things that are going on. Why Nigerians must begin to pay attention to where it really, you know, it really matters so that we can truly, sincerely move forward. The things that are happening, all that is going on. These are all reflections of, you know, of things that have been going on and why you and I must begin to join in lines of truth so that we can deliver on our mandate. If we keep quiet and allow these politicians to continue to decide for us, you'll be shocked. Many of them have no love or iota of care for the nation. Or they are, you know, for some, they want to answer the name president. For some, it is their lifelong ambition. For some, they just want, I mean... They, they want to acquire the money for some. They just want to get the number one seat. So again and again, looking at it all, you can see that for Nigeria to become great, something must be done to change these things. Okay? For Nigeria to become great, something must be done drastically, you know, and, and truly something must be done. Okay? So it is what it is, my wonderful people. It is what it is. It's about time we begin to, you know, look at the real, uh, I mean, our investment as a nation. Where are we passing this investment and how is it, how is it all playing out? What are we doing with, what, with the opportunity and with everything that we have with us? What are we doing with, every, with every, everything? What are we doing with it? Are we just going to sit back there and pretend that these things are not happening? For goodness sake and for crying out loud, a lot of things are going so wrong. And it's about time we begin to, you know, re re-strategize and put things in order so that uh, Nigeria can become a better place, a comfortable place we can call home. Uh, for, for all that it is, as, as where we are now, you can't call this nation a home, can you? Those in diaspora are scared of coming home, uh, you know, not because they don't want to come home, but with the situation of things, God helping us and preserving us. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.